It's nice. Not too crisp morning here in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. Pedro and I going for our second walk this morning. The first one was around 3 a.m. It's strange because uh, it's like I don't mind getting up for him. It's a uh, Great little, great little dog. Certainly a good friend. Oh, so like I'm saying, it's like I don't even mind. It's like, oh man, you gotta go outside. You got pee pee. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> like, aren't we already outside? <laughs> you wanna go outside? Hey. What do you smell? A potential lady? A potential girlfriend? Poor guy, I don't know if he knows those are gone. He had a big set too. <laughs> Funny because they just leave the the scrotum. Just a A little ball bag there. Here, just see how he kicks his feet after he pees. It's hilarious if he does it. <laughs> no, let's not pee on their roses, man. Come on. Oh, stay over here. See how quiet he is. He rarely barks. It's like he just barks to alert, like if someone's at the door and being quiet. He knows when someone's there. He'll be like, rawr, 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 but any other time it's silence. When I got him, I thought he might have been a, a service dog. Because he does a lot of weird shit. But my opinion he is a service dog he's mine he's made me feel I don't know it's interesting it's interesting what a little dog can do incredible oh he didn't kick his I was going to show you him kicking his feet he didn't do it This whole area is like nothing but dirt, like this. We got the mountains all around us. Let's not get in there. He's such a beautiful little boy. <laughs> what are you doing, Pedro? <laughs> Look at him, he's such a sweet little guy. gonna do some laundry today hopefully and uh, well the engine just had an engine overhaul and uh, let's go back the other way let's go back we had an engine overhaul so I was expecting this trip to go a little bit better but uh, anyway getting it over to the uh, freight liner here see some injectors were leaking and there appeared to be uh, some bolts that are holding those football shaped deals but I, I, I don't know the vernacular the, uh, of all this of the nomenclature uh, of the engine but um, some bolts weren't tightened they were just like he said he was able to turn them with his fingers some seals were put in upside down 
Uh, this little arm that's on the passenger side, it's something to do with the EGR, whatever that is. He said it was acting weird and making this, something was malfunctioning. I said, well, that was, that was on my invoice for the, on the engine overhaul. And, uh, Pedro's tying me up here. And, um, that could be the cause of the whole thing. It was, what's happening is the engine's heating up, heat, heating up tremendously. And, um ready to melt some shit and um, who knows what else is going on who, know, who knows what else they slacked on you know what else was screwed up so this guy seems very competent and, and uh, when he came to me he came to me like a doctor does when he's gonna tell you you have you know your ill your illness or your your family members illness sidewalk closed oh i'm not supposed to be going through there oh damn well let's go back in <laughs> it doesn't matter so hopefully i'm not here too long and uh but yeah I, the guy here is pretty Pretty nice guy, like I said, he was like a doctor, which he is, he's an engine doctor. Remember that guy, diesel doctor? There was one somewhere around, what, Mount Vernon, Illinois or something, or then there was another one somewhere else. Anyway, hey man, I don't wanna come out here. They got nice things here, let's go. <laughs> so, um. But you know, the downtime's killing me. Um, it's not a good thing for this. So, this should all be covered by warranty, but you know, I'm still down and I've still got to pay for this hotel. I got, and I've been wiped out, you know, from all the other happenings. And, uh, this trucking shit is hard, man. I mean, if he goes kicking in my ass, <laughs> oh shit! It's much easier before I, me and my dad went on this little adventure together. But I'm real proud of my dad for stepping up, because uh, I was ready to give up. I was ready to just say fuck it all. I don't give a fuck anymore. And, uh, he kind of stepped up, and <laughs> it took him three years, but he he stepped up and helped me out. And uh, I couldn't even believe he was able to. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to the uh, hotel room and do some laundry, and yo. Look forward to uh, that gentleman telling us that everything's done and we're getting out of here today. Some people in Denver are wanting their two crates of transformers. All right, bye. This way. This way. Just like that's the door, man. Trying to wear him out. Although he is uh, supposed to be between six and eight years old. Oh, we got to get him. So good we go. Now, he's just wore out. That's what I need. So he'll go back after he eats, he'll go to sleep. <laughs>
Where to eat? Whew. I guess he's about my age in dog years. So we're both kind of worn out. We're gonna have some chow and do some laundry, but the, anyway, see you guys later, bye. <laughs> He'll look up at me like that and just look at me with love, man. <laughs> It's the sweetest thing ever. Okay, bye this time for real.